army girl in. <laughs> we find some of the super poisonous one. Would like to think that you loved me and my soul. You like it? Some fine day, I will certainly <laughs> die. I want to hear you call in the middle of night time, reverie. I want to take your soul and raise it up until you can fly and die. I, I kind of know where we should start, so let's start at the places I kind of like eyed and then. We'll just let the mycelium take us from there. Kind of lead us on an avatar journey. One summer day, you will wake up in the clay to reclaim your soul and day spent working for dimes. And as you smile, you remember better days. But something good. Morning, guys. Welcome back to another episode. Today, mushroom picking or mushroom hunting. It is the season. We have to take advantage. Yeah, so stick with us and let's see what we find today. We got our super big baskets just ready to find a bunch of different varieties. How many varieties did we count that we knew so far? So over breakfast, we counted that we know 15 different varieties of edible mushrooms. Yeah. And we know like three varieties of poisonous ones. Yeah. So? And... They're all growing prolifically right now, so. Yeah. So the hunt is on. Take a minute yeah. and talk about your fashion here. What is happening with your boots <laughs> and your pants? Well, well, number one, I don't give up. Wow. <laughs> number two, these pants are very mobile, and I think a lot of people stress safety instead of mobility. And when I'm mobile, I'm less likely to. You're not helping trip, your cause. Fall. <laughs> So it's just yoga pants. Very sexy. In my boots. With the yoga shirt. Very, very nice. I'm nice and warm. So first off, right out of the bat, we have these ones that are candy caps. And these guys we've been just picking. They are super brittle stems. That's one of the identifiers of candy caps. And we're going to dehydrate these guys because they have a sweeter... Some people say maple syrup. But I just think like it's just a sweeter smell. So we'll pick these guys last because they'll be on our way back. Okay, so also right at the bat, we find some of the super poisonous one, um, Amanitas. Let me show you guys these Amanitas. Can you see them all back there? They look like Super Mario. <laughs> We're not gonna pick those ones. They look really cool though. Everyone always takes pictures of them because they look like the mushroom emoji, but they're not for eating. I'm thinking it might also be like, um, okay. not an oyster, but it's a really good one. Okay. Is it oyster mushroom? Oyster, down here. Found some more angel wings right here on this log. There's one more over here. They are just falling off so easy, even taking the bark with them. Wow. So beautiful. already found two shaggy manes and some chanterelles. I feel like this is the poisonous Belitis because there's one that's poisonous that I know about that I haven't found yet that has brown top and it also bruises green when you touch it even though the smith also did the same. But... Huh. Or maybe that was a king but it's a little far gone now. Look at how many grubs are in there eating that. Those are all worm tracks. Gross. As the sun goes down, then you can't find your way back. The shadows will soon creep in. As the sky turns dark, you can feel the fear sweeping. I'm alone because. 
Found some more angel wings. Did you guys find some angel wings? It's hard to tell you guys how the terrain is in here. It's like the most difficult hiking I've ever done. But like, look at this, this is a good example. Everything is soft like this. And you put your foot somewhere you think is stable and I've like sunk up to my hip and it's just it's slow going, but it's really fun though. Hey, look out there over my shoulder. Lots of angelings at the Goshan. Angelings are back here. Yeah. So we find some cool game trails, and this one looks like some kind of mushroom that's overgrown. But and then this way, Matt, what did you just find? I think you found uh, the first pine mushrooms. Pine, right? I'm pretty. I'm. I'm pretty sure. Japanese name? Matsutake. Matsutake. It and has like the most incredible smell. Here, give a little flip around of that. Let me see. Top. Yep. Underneath. And it was growing just fully in the ground. Yeah. And the other one you got. Let's see. The other one is crazy. All that split. one opened up. It was exposed this way out, and most of this was underground. And that's where it was in the ground right there. Yeah. I think you found a Matsutake, a pine mushroom here. Super nice. It smells like pine. Does it really? That's the... <laughs> nice. It's, yeah. It's a cool. Great. great find. All right, so I'm hiding down in the briar patch here. I think I found something else. I'm underneath all these guys, and I think down in here... I may have just found another one. Let's see if I pull it out at the base. What it looks like down there. I can't say that this is the same kind of pine, but we have to look it up. This one looks like... It's the same. It looks, that's it, huh? It looks just like it. Yeah, totally the same. Well, let's get some on video, then we'll go check it out and... Go go research it and double check. Make sure. That's an awesome one. How's it going over there with your fan club? Good. <laughs> they keep trying to eat them. Look, you got them trained now. They're sitting watching you. I know. Okay, so what's in front of you right here? You got three different kinds. Thank you. That's how you sit. You got yellow chanterelles in the center. Um, chanterelles, yeah. We have angel wings right here. Mm -hmm. We have uh, winter chanterelles. AKA yellow foot and that Kai is blocking. Yeah, and then I have two shaggy manes that I found. Oh, on the road. And I also got just a couple of puffs. There were so many puffs, but yeah. I just got a couple. Nice job. So, yeah. And then on this basket down here, we got the most expensive mushroom we found today, the pine mushroom, the Matsutakes. This one you got here is what's in this tray Nicole's doing. That's the yellow mm -hmm. foot yeah. um, winter chanterelle. It has a chanterelle type gills that disappear into the center stalk. They're usually like an innie, like a belly button innie on the top. And they grow in clusters by the trunks of trees. Yep. So that's where you found that's them. That's right sure. where I got them in all those sticks. Yeah. Just like this, ton of, ton of the sticks. Dude, I'm super <laughs> impressed we found the pine. Oh, it's so heavy. This is like, uh, this is it's easily a pound heavy. and a half. These guys are going for hundreds of dollars a pound. I got some good chanterelles too. Nice. Oh wow, it's a beauty. Yeah, nice job. Yeah, I got a really big one too. Nice. That one's like perfect. Yeah. This one's like a mutant. <laughs> Do you 
just finished up walking through the forest and finding so many different types of mushrooms and we have them all sitting out here. I have a bowl because I'm going to walk over here and pick the ones I want because I'm going to make a mushroom gravy, the same gravy I made on Canadian Thanksgiving. And I feel like I'm going to the supermarket to pick out an array of mushrooms to put in my bowl to clean off to make mushroom gravy. It's kind of cool actually. <laughs> so take a trip with me to the supermarket. Let's pick out some mushrooms. I'll tell you what they are and let's make some homemade mushroom gravy, which is so good. All right, so we're here in the mushroom section. We'll call this aisle 10, but let's see. I'm definitely gonna put some chanterelles in my gravy. So we have some chanterelles that I'm gonna pick here. This ones that we don't cook, um, they're, we're gonna dehydrate them, which is why they're over by the fire. So they're gonna stay on these trays and get dehydrated. Okay, so I got a good amount of chanterelles and I'm gonna do these puffs. I don't think we can dehydrate puffs. I think they would just go bad. Um, so we're gonna do some of these puff balls, which are really good and they're everywhere. So we're gonna put a ton of puff balls in my gravy. And I think we're gonna do these separate, but we have the angel wings, which are so beautiful. They're so white. They look like a chanterelle, but they're white and they grow on a log but we're gonna saute those up on the side. All right, so I'm gonna clean these guys off and start my gravy. I sound like, sound like a country girl. I'm gonna start my gravy. Oh my gosh. All right, the rest of them are going to get dehydrated except for we have two shaggy manes, which shaggy manes are very sought after. Um, I found two, I found them. So I think we're gonna cook those up because there's only two, so there's no point in dehydrating two. All right, let's head over to the kitchen. All right, we took the matsutake, the pine mushrooms, and we're gonna try them two different ways. One is in this skillet with a little coconut oil. You can see the coconut oil right here. Gonna add some salt, pepper, and a little soy sauce, and grill them up over there on the wood stove that's cooking up next to Maddie Lee over there. And then we're gonna take the other ones, which we uh, already sliced up, washed out, and made sure they were free of any kind of bugs, and we're gonna put them on these drying racks and try to dehydrate them. So let's drop this guy next to the other mushrooms. Here we have the shaggy mane with the winter chanterelles, the yellow foot. And these are the pine mushrooms that we're gonna try to dehydrate and see how it goes. So we'll come back to you guys and tell you in a couple days if the dehydration process worked. We've had really good success so far dehydrating the candy caps, the yellow chanterelles, and we're gonna try to dehydrate these angel wing mushrooms that Nicole cleaned so beautifully. They are really amazing. Just really amazing mushroom. Cool, so I'll come back to you guys and we'll let you know how it tastes. Super enjoyable to be um, cooking so much with just the wood stove with no electricity, so. Cooking with the forest, we're eating the forest. The ash goes back into the forest. I've seen these pine mushrooms go for like a hundred to two hundred dollars a pound. If we had like three pounds today of the pine mushroom between those little cluster, six hundred dollars a mushroom. <laughs> you ready for a six hundred dollar mushroom meal? Totally. You guys are ready? Let's go taste test these ones. Only winter chanterelles and shaggy manes in there. Oh, okay. And the shaggy manes cooked down, so you gotta look for them. It's obviously the white one. 
That's why I did just those two, because it's gold and white. So here's right. your little bowl. Ding ding! Here's your little bowl. Okay, so this morning, it was a collection of four. This is just these two, so. Oh my god, it's so good. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Mm. Mm. These are really good. Wow, the yellow foots, the winter chanterelles are good. This is just coconut oil, salt, pepper. Super good. That was really good. Mm. Okay, so I've seen these at farmer's markets for 100 to 200 a pound. Okay, let's try them out. Ladies first. The guy who found the first one. I just cooked it in soy sauce and salt, pepper, and coconut oil. It's good. Chewy. Should I cook it? In, should I cook it longer? Uh -huh. I like that texture. I love it. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. What does it taste like? It tastes like something. Meat. It really tastes like meat to me. Like it tastes like. Mm -hmm. It's not rubbery to where it's like, um, just save some of this it's not, a, it's not bad rubbery. It's like chewy right, right. and just the perfect amount of chewiness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Oh. I'm going to stir my gravy. The soy sauce? Super good. Mm. It's tough to compare it to anything. Yeah. Like if you were to give me this on a blind taste test, I wouldn't I wouldn't say it was a mushroom. It doesn't have that mushroomy taste, like almost like squid or but like or like octopus has been massaged and like <laughs> tenderized. Tenderized, yeah. Frankie, I'm gonna give this one a nine point six. They bring it back together every okay. time. Kai, hey, Kai, show sit. them the toy when you tell them to sit. Oh, sorry. Sit. Come here. Come here, Kai. No, sit. No, Kai, sit. Stay. Stay. Good boys. <laughs> <laughs> and then Rachel is over here like this. <laughs> okay, boys. Here, let me have it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Sit. I can do a selfie. Oh, That's so funny. I love this teamwork. <laughs> Thank you guys. Okay, now we gotta work on letting go. Let, let. Oh. oh. Okay. Okay. Sit. 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 No. Sit. Stay. Okay. Go get it. Whoa! Most dogs can get that. Okay, go get it. Ready? Go get it. Beautiful. Join us next time on Jake and Nicole Off Grid. I bought the trolls. Thank you guys so much for watching. Look, they're so cool.